Hey guys, it's Amanda with Getting There Green, and I'm sorry there hasn't been any videos in the last couple of weeks. We went on vacation for about two weeks, well, about a week and a little, and uh, while, well, right before vacation, we had put together a long update on everything video, and then ran into some technical difficulties and couldn't upload it before we left for vacation, and even when we came back, we still had trouble with it, so... <laughs> so we just, we haven't made another video because I guess we keep hoping that that first video will finally come together and post so we don't have to redo it. But yes, the contest is over. Yes, we will be putting up the uh, finalist photos on our website. And uh, if you've been to our website in the last couple of days, you've noticed that those pictures aren't there yet. But they will be. And um, I'll let you guys know probably quicklist I'll let you know through Facebook but hopefully I'll let you know through a video as well that you can go there and vote for your favorites but what I'm doing today and I want to show you is um, has to do with my rain barrels now um, fall weather is here so winter will be here before you know it and um, there's only so much time and you never know when the frost is gonna hit and when you have to prepare for the cold weather so I'm trying to get started uh, ahead so I'm not in a rush and uh, here's my rain barrels. Okay, um, you notice they're white and we made them ourselves um, from food grade barrels that we bought off the internet from somebody locally. And the problem with white rain barrels is algae grows in them. That's the first problem. So the water, ew, it looks even worse in the camera than in real life. The water's kind of green. And uh, I don't think that's really a problem for nutrients in your garden. Your plants probably like the algae, actually, but um, it's kind of gross <laughs> and uh, not ideal, I suppose, or maybe it is. Um, the jury's still out on whether or not you want algae in your rainwater that you water your garden with, but um, I don't think it does any harm to the plants, but it is gross. Um, the other problem I have with these being white is in the winter you could double your rain barrels usage by putting them um, in your greenhouse, heated or unheated, and the water, as long as the water doesn't freeze in your rain barrels, the water can um, slowly release uh, its heat into the greenhouse to hopefully warm your plants a little more than they would be if the rain barrels or barrels of water weren't there. Um, but white barrels aren't going to get very warm, not as warm as black barrels will, because black would attract the uh, sunlight. So, I don't know, other people on YouTube use food grade, grade barrels like this and they paint them, but I don't know what they're using to paint them. I just bought um, spray paint, but I know spray paint isn't very good for the environment, so I'm not too sure... You know, it's not very getting there green of me to use it. That's what I'm using, though. Um, you can see I've put uh, newspaper up on the wall of my house behind the barrel so I don't get it all, you know, I don't paint my house black because right now my house is kind of a faded yellow color. So I'm going to start with this barrel, and I have used a rubber band and a plastic bag to cover the hole so I'm not um, getting the paint into my algae water underneath. Um, so hopefully I can still use that water. I don't think it'll be contaminated. And I'm going to spray this barrel. And I've bought quite a lot of this paint so I think I have enough to do it all. And then um, as the cold weather approaches these rain barrels are going to be moved to my greenhouse. As I said, I'm going to try to maybe keep the greenhouse slightly warmer than the outside air by having these barrels of water in there. Um, more on that in videos to come towards winter. Uh, oh, the word escapes me right now, what that's called. Um, it's a passive heating anyway. Okay, talk to you guys later. If you guys have ideas for how people can change the color of their food grade barrels from white to something darker to keep the algae out. Um, if you have ideas other than spray paint, please put a comment below. Thank you. Bye.